And welcome back to Hannity. A group called American Atheists are not exactly getting into the holiday spirit. Now, here's why. Just in time for Christmas, they put this billboard up in the heart of Times Square in New York. It reads, Keep the Merry, Dump the Myth. Our very own Ainsley Earhart hit the streets of New York City to see what people thought of this advertisement. Take a look. Ladies, could I ask your reaction about this billboard? Do you see this? It says, keep the Mary in Christmas to keep Santa, but dump the myth, and it's a picture of Jesus. What do you think? I don't like it. Why not? Well, why is it easier to believe in a man in a fuzzy red suit than it is about uh, that Christ that lived and was born 2,000 years ago? Jesus is the reason for the season. That's really crazy. I mean, wasn't Santa the myth? I don't like it. Why don't you like it? Because I think Christmas is... Christ. Does it upset you to see that? Yes. Why? Uh, ridiculous. Because that's what it's all about. It's about Jesus. This billboard says, keep the Mary, meaning keep Santa, but dump the myth. They're calling Christ a myth. I think that's wrong. I think Christmas is about Christ. It's the main, uh, it's where it all started. Santa Claus came after Christ. No, no, no. Uh -uh, not the. Yeah. We serve a living God. That's his son. He walked this earth. You know, Christmas, the whole holiday season, is the cause of Christ. Putting up a billboard is, unfortunately, as inflammatory as that, as that one is. doesn't really do much to ed educate people. I had not even noticed that. Horrible. I think it's disgusting. If Christ were here today, what do you think he would say about that billboard? He would be disappointed, I think. Are you surprised to see that in New York? No, you're not surprised to see anything in New York. What's your message for the people who put that up? Uh, if you really believe that, there's no reason to, you know, try to impose your, your viewpoint on everyone else. So they're saying they should keep you and dump Christ. Yeah, they're wrong. If they had to dump one, which one would you, would you pick? Wow. Joining me on the show, Dave Silverman. He is the president of American Atheist, a group that put up that billboard. You didn't even have your own money. You had to get it from somebody else, a donor. Well, we have lots of donors at American Atheist. All right. I don't really care what your views are. I get it. You don't believe in God. That's fine. You're free to believe whatever you believe. Is it just Christians you're picking on, by the way? In other words, have you ever done a billboard campaign against uh, people that are Jewish or Muslims? Yes, we have. And we, what have you done against the Muslims? We put up a billboard in uh, Elizabeth, New Jersey, that said, uh, you know it's a myth in Arabic. And we put up a billboard in Brooklyn that said, you know it's a myth what was in the Hebrew. Uh, actually, the Islamic billboard, the Islamic people were actually all about, well, this is a free country and you can say what you want. And some mm -hmm. people agreed and some people disagreed. Well, look at the reaction to the Danish cartoons or look at the reaction to this YouTube video yeah. for Salman Rushdie and the Satanic Verses. Scary There's thing. been some very... But you know what that is? That, that's actually a form of terrorism. That's actually a form of them getting us to obey their religious beliefs without imposing the rule of law on it. They scare us mm -hmm. into obeying their religious See, beliefs. It's look, against their religion that we're not I don't really care what you believe. I, I, I get it. You're an atheist. I'm not going to sit here and convince you. You believe nothing can come out of nothing, which is what I believe atheists in the end have to believe. But that's, that's not the argument. You want to insult people. You want to attack them. You want to you know, stick we them have. in the ribs on their holiday. And you just want to be rude and narcissistic and mean. Why? Sean, we have never put up a billboard criticizing people. We criticize religion, and religion is I, perfectly but, open market. But people we say believe in religion. I'm a well, Christian. I look, at a, I, I look at a picture of Jesus, and you, wanted to, you just want to rub salt in a wound. No. Why are you doing it that? Because this is the time of year when so many atheists who call themselves Christians grab, drag themselves to church against their own will because they think atheists the church... Atheists who call themselves Christians? You don't atheists know... Atheists who call themselves Christians. You said it. You said well, let me article. explain what I'm saying here, okay? They drag themselves to church because they think the church is an integral part of Christmas, and it's not. We're saying for those people, you can keep the merry, you can have a party, you don't have to go to a church in which you don't believe, you don't have to pray to a God in which you don't believe, Excuse and you me. don't have to donate Excuse money. Me. Nobody's telling, nobody's forcing you to go to a Christian church, oh. a Catholic church, a synagogue, or a mosque. I disagree. Go, wait a minute. Nobody, well, if that's, no, if they're I, allowing people to force them to go, that's their problem. Well, and we're telling them not to. That's no, exactly that's, that's the point their, of the billboard. Problem. Don't That's allow people to force billboard. you to go to church. We, come out to the, we come know out that atheist. a large population of Christians are actually atheists. Yes. Who are, if, if they are really atheists 
and they don't have the courage of their convictions. I mean, you're an atheist. You come on this program, and you say you're an atheist. Right. All right. What am I? So there's I, a lot of familial and social pressure that keeps atheists in the closet, and we at American Atheists are trying to relieve that. Nobody's. Pressure. No. You, you are too full of yourself to believe that people care. No, they care I very much. I don't really much. care. I know you don't care, Sean, I don't. but a lot of people do care, and they care very much because they think they're alone. And we're here to tell the atheists of this country that they are not alone. So they're that weak that they can have their families pressure them and force them into stating their believers when they're not. I wouldn't say the word is weak. I would say the word is forced by their family and familiar. No, no, no. no. Nobody's forced. Pressures. They're too weak to stand up for the. I don't want to use the word weak, but I do want to use the word misguided. And we think that it is misguided for an atheist to call himself a Christian or a Jew or a Muslim when right. they should come out of the you know closet the and give their gift of give the gift of honesty this year to their family. It's the greatest. So gift what happens you when you die? What do you think happens? You die, just like everything You're else dead. in the universe. Yes. That's it. There's nothing it's not a pretty this picture. Is this is it. It's, there's no fantasy here. Yeah. The reality is that every living thing dies. Let me ask you this. Dies. Do you believe in the Big Bang Theory? Do you believe in evolution? Yes, of course I believe in evolution. Asking, evolution is now my, next, my next question is, so where did all, all of those molecules and energy come together to collide to create universes within universes, the sun, the moon, the stars, the planets, human life, animal life, and plant. That just happened randomly by accident. The fact so is... So nothing came out of nothing. You know, the opposite is God did it, and where did God come from? He came from nothing? Did he have parents? No, did he have a creator? It, it, no, it's not a difference. Because you're looking at this from a very narrow, egotistical vantage it's point. It's not about no, ego. No, no. It's about science, You Sean. can't believe there's something greater than you. No, that's not it at all. The fact is that in absence of knowledge, if we don't know something, that's not evidence for an invisible magic man in the sky. Mm -hmm. That's evidence for the fact that we need to learn more. That's right. what it means. Good to see you. Hey, Merry thanks for having me on the show. Merry Christmas. Happy holiday, Sean.